All right, pop quiz. I like pop quizzes. You do. I, I want you to think about this for a second. Okay. Um, you may have never even considered this before. What is your time worth? My time? Your time. What, what my is time your worth? time worth? More than you can afford. Probably. A, a billion dollars. I, at least. <laughs> well, author Laura Vanderkam says a lot of people overestimate the amount of hours they actually work and underestimate the amount of time they spend with family. Mm -hmm. well, whether you realize it or not, your time is valuable. Deciding how you spend it can be a challenge. But as we hear from Sean, a new online test can show you just how valuable your time is and whether or not you should do certain chores yourself or pay someone else. What do you think is the value of your time? I think my time is worth $22.50. $25. Clearerthinking.org puts an actual dollar amount on your time. The site asks you a series of questions like, your hourly rate, how long you'd wait in line for a giveaway, and how much extra you'd pay to save an hour. It averages your answers and calculates your time's value. Using your own dollar amount, the results will tell you things like, if you think about your purchase for over 15 minutes, don't buy it, or only hire someone to do your chores if they charge less than $15 per hour. After taking the test, what you thought your time was worth might not match up with your results. The results were that my time is worth $20 per hour. My result was 17.3. Which is not really surprising based on my estimate before. I just thought it would be 25 or higher. <laughs> now, if you'd like to put a dollar amount on your time, go to delmarvalife.com. We've posted a value of your time calculator. And here is why knowing this information is a win-win. Think about all the stuff that you've got to do. You've got to clean the house. You've got to wash the car. you got to get the food ready. This could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. And, on. and when all of this adulting stacks up, it can be stressful. I trust you can relate. So today, we also want to talk about how to get a handle on that stress. And joining us to help is Nancy Rothner, the creator of something called Pinch Me Therapy Dough. Thank you for joining us oh, this thank afternoon. thank you for having me. Okay, so yes. before we get to the dough and start pinching and squeezing it, um, I want to ask you, um, why did you make it your mission to address the stress that people handle? Well, I've worked for the last 15 years in the field of holistic wellness as a cl clinical hypnotherapist, and I've seen up close that stress is at an epidemic. It has been something that every client has suffered with. And so well, I've had the chance to work with them one-on-one -on -one in the office, and that's been great. My thoughts were, what about all the people who aren't coming to the office? Mm -hmm. Knowing that stress is out there, I wanted to find a way to take what's been most effective in the office package it in a portable container, and that's pinch me. So stress really can have a big impact on your life. Huge. It's been in every single issue I've addressed, every client has had stress, whether we're talking about insomnia, whether we're talking about an addiction, phobia, just students with anxiety, the undercurrent to everything is stress. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about relieving stress. You say that since what we smell can help with that. Absolutely. There are a couple of things that are going on. When someone is stressed, the first thing is our breath becomes shallow and tight. So when you're around a scent that you like, in contrast, it's going to trigger a response in the body to have a full open breath. And then additionally, if that scent happens to be something that you have associations in the past that were pleasant, it's going to bring back some of those feel-good memories associated with that as well. Huh. I promise this is not a pun that makes so much sense when she says it that way. <laughs> so what about and calming colors as well? Yes, uh, another component that can add to that is colors are known to have various emotional relationships or associations with, so let's say blue is calming, uh, purple is more luxurious, hmm. um, yellow and orange are a little bit more upbeat, joyful, energizing, so the colors can add another element as well. And what you did is combined both the scent and the color with the Pinch Me Therapy dough? Yes. What we're doing is a multi-sensory kind of mood shifter, so we're compounding the effectiveness. Okay, so is, is there something about massaging and manipulating this dough that's it's really calming. Absolutely. Since so much of our brain is wired to the sensitivity and the agility in the fingers, anytime we're directing our attention to our hands, it acts as a quick and powerful way to become recentered. So when we're acting with the dough, with the scent component, combining that with the squeezing component, right. we're becoming centered, but then the tension also can be kneaded out through the fingers. All yes. right. Can Absolutely. I, I want to try. <laughs> so, so she handed me, oh, cafe. Cafe. Yes. yes. And that's 
I love this coffee. This is brand new. So, so you just take you take yep. a bunch, or you take either or, either or. Just take some out. Ooh. It's kind of like Play-Doh, you know. Oh, that is a nice aroma. Mm. I like that. And, and see, just I, I feel kind of bad because you can't smell it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Probably wasn't a nice thing to do. No. So, like so it? I'm just doing it right. Just, you just play with it. Mm -hmm. Kind of squeeze at it. Absolutely. A lot of people are finding, say, massaging it while they're on the computer. Yeah. Students while studying. I, myself at night in front of the TV. Right. A lot of different ways. I've had some companies for their corporate meetings like to have that. Just like uh, a stress ball, you know, uh -huh. and, and it doesn't leave a residue no. or, you know, doesn't come off on your hands. So you say this also helps soldiers. What we've done is we found a company that's very similar to our mission. They're also about holistic stress relief, and that company is called Bootstrap USA. And what they do for our soldiers who have military-related PTSD is they're help helping them with mind-body wellness. And so we're contributing to help fund their mission through the Prince Me purchases. And you're getting ready to go national. Yes. This Friday, 10 a.m., is an official launch. It's on something called the Gromit. And the Gromit is similar to ABC Shark Tank. The only difference is that it is where the consumers decide what's going to be the next big hit. Oh. And so this Friday at 10 o'clock, two and a half million people are going to be exposed to Pinch Me for the first time. How about that? Yeah. Nancy, oh quite excited. I think yeah. it's going to be a hit. It's amazing. Yeah. You got to try it, Jimmy. Are you kidding me? I will I will ooze right out on you and, and be gone for the rest of the show. You, but it's nice, huh? It is very nice. I love the aroma. Thank you. That is wonderful. Thank Thanks. you, Nancy. Good uh, luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate being I think here. You, I think it's going to be a big hit.